We have unique insights this morning about one of the San Bernardino shooters. It comes from his sister. Police searched the home of Syed Farouk and his wife on Thursday in Redlands, California. The two had apparently been planning something for a long time. They had a giant stockpile of ammunition and homemade bombs. David Begno in Redlands shows us how the, family, the gunman's family is responding and coping. David, good morning. Charlie, good morning. We're speaking to the sister, and I have to tell you, she says she is numb and, quite honestly, at a loss for words. For the first time since the shooting, here on CBS This Morning, the sister representing the immediate family is talking. It is their first interview ever since police told them their brother committed mass murder. I, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm deeply saddened, and, I mean, it's, it's a sad day for all of us. Sarah Khan insists she has no idea what motivated her brother and his wife to go on a shooting rampage. She and her husband Farhan are left to wonder, could they have stopped it? So many things I asked myself. I asked myself if I had called him that morning or the night before, asked him how he was doing, what he was up to. If I had any inclination, maybe I could have stopped it. They found thousands of rounds of ammunition in his garage. And I was surprised that you know, somebody can go and buy that much weapons. He didn't talk a lot. No, he was always shy and quiet. Did you like his wife? Yes, she was also shy, quiet, kept to herself. Sarah says she hasn't even had the time to process what's going on. We were also mourning the loss of someone we knew or we thought we knew. And so we would really want like everybody to give us, you know, some time to mourn or, you know, Give us some time, I guess. Just like everybody else out there that needs time to mourn. Farhan says he felt an obligation to address the victims Farhan and the world F on the night of the shooting. I wanted to go there and talk to the to the victims, people who are hurt. So I, I, I love this country. I love the people. And I felt responsible to, you know, go and tell this to the people. Do you think your brother deserves to be forgiven? That, that's a hard question. I don't even know if I would forgive him just because of what he did. Farhan, could you forgive your brother-in-law? Not right now. What he did to his own family, to his uh, daughter, to our family, to, to the innocent people there, no, I won't forgive him. We spoke with the two attorneys who are representing the shooter's family, and they told us this. Yesterday, they met with the FBI, and based on questions from the FBI being asked of the family, the attorneys believe federal investigators are pursuing a theory that this very well could have been a terrorist attack. Nora. All right, David, thank you. Again, scary that no one, even their closest family members, could not know that they were building this arsenal at home. And looking at that interview, you can't help but feel for that family. And we heard in the lot, David said that they're now going to adopt the baby of the couple. But you can't help but feel what they're going through, too. What amazes me is nobody could have seen or saw the radicalization. Right. Many questions here. Many questions indeed. 